I went to the Christine Shaw College of Beauty in London where I studied cosmetic chemistry, face and body treatments. I was actually the only man among the students, but we had a lot of fun and I was determined to become the best. Shortly before graduation, I sent letters out to the various uh, beauty houses in London and let them know about my passion and my expertise. And I actually had three job offers as opposed to none. So I was a very fortunate man that my last day in school was a Friday and Saturday. I had my first assignment at Selfridges, the very big department store in London, where I began working for Helene Rubenstein. But I ultimately dreamt about a career in Hollywood. So I jumped from England to San Francisco and down to Los Angeles. And again, I knocked on a lot of doors when I first arrived in Los Angeles, but no one wanted to hire me as a man because they didn't want me to see women topless. So I decided, why not open up my own business? So in 1975, I opened up on Camden Drive in Beverly Hills on a very tight budget. But again, I got to do what I love most, and that is to treat skin. And having suffered from cystic acne, problematic skin sort of became my specialty. The LA Times Sunday Magazine section challenged me with an assistant to the editor-in-chief named Rita. Rita came in and they said, if you can transform her skin from being acneic to being clear and perfect in a matter of six weeks, we are gonna do a before and after story on you. Well, Rita came in with her greasy hair, her erupted skin, poor body posture, but she and I became very close friends and I began treating her skin Again, advising her as far as dietary changes, telling her about the importance of a good posture versus a bad posture. And in a matter of six weeks, with my natural treatment methods, she had perfect skin. The article came out on a Sunday, all in color. And I'm telling you, that Monday, when I opened up the door to my spa in Beverly Hills, well, the phones rang and rang for weeks on end. Ulla Henriksen was put on the map. And I was a very happy man, I must say.